everyone, welcome back to the Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. We are getting really close to 80,000 subscribers. I would love to have all of you as part of the Nintendo Prime gang. That being said, today Square Enix has put on a major news event. Uh, we have a new Pokemon revealed for Scarlet and Violet that's giving me nightmares. We have updates for Splatoon 3 and so much more. So without further ado, let's get into the news. Our first story deals with a brand new glitch discovered in Splatoon 3 over the Splatfest weekend. And this glitch has to do with how the bucket works, the sloshers, even ink being thrown with the rollers, because there's a massive glitch in the game allowing people to, well, take out other players through obstacles, which shouldn't be possible. So using the sloshing machine is the easiest way to experience the glitch. Essentially, you can throw paint and hit people through obstacles, be it certain standalone structures, but definitely through the floor if you're underneath them or through the bottom of bridges. People have also been able to do this throwing paint with the rollers. It does seem to be a mechanical bug that's specific to how paint is thrown rather than shot out of a normal weapon. You cannot make this bug happen with any weapon that shoots paint only with weapons that throw it. Now that this is being publicized, again, I would expect a pretty big patch next week. They already have a patch rolling out this week to fix a temporary immunity bug and fix it so people actually get their super sea snails for participating in the last weekend's Splatfest, whether you played one match or many. Some didn't get them, but this is now going to be fixed this week. So hopefully next week they release a patch to address this because this is something that does affect gameplay and there are many, many people taking advantage of it. It is an in-game bug. You can't really get in trouble for taking advantage of an in-game bug that just shouldn't exist. You're not glitching the game out. This is just something that happens. You don't do anything special to make it happen. It just factually occurs. So hopefully this gets addressed next week. Today, Square Enix had a new save point. And unfortunately, I don't have any news from it at the time of recording. It's about to happen, actually. It's probably happening as you're watching this. It is a live stream event on Twitch where they release a whole bunch of news. I just wanted to let you guys know what was happening in case you want to go check it out after the fact. And any major news for Switch will just be covered in tomorrow's episode. But I wanted to let you know that it's happening anyways because, hey, it is a big thing today for Square fans. Well, this bit of news kind of did me in today. We did a YouTube short on it because I am a little bit freaked out. A brand new Pokemon was unveiled in a very strange Pokemon company Japanese way. I was actually at the event when they unveiled this and I freaked out. We're looking at what apparently is known as Wiglet or something like that. I don't know. That's what the articles are telling me. This was in Japanese. The English translations aren't perfect, but it sounds like the name of this new Pokemon is Wiglet, which makes you think of Diglett, of course, because, well, I mean, they both are underground and have a little piece sticking out and it just makes you think that they're related. They're not necessarily related, however. In Japan, the name of this Pokemon uh, has sea in its name, suggesting that it's like a sea creature, more akin to like a worm or eel or something like that. So it might not even be related in any way. There were some notes about the Pokemon that says, you know, that Diglett and Wiglet are completely different Pokemon, but that doesn't mean that they didn't evolve from the same thing many, many years ago. Hey, look, at the end of the day, I, we don't know a ton about this Pokemon. What we do know is, Man, does it creep me out, and man, does it give a whole new meaning to the meme, Expand Dong. I can't believe I just got that in an episode. Today, Nintendo seems to have launched a brand new Super Mario Brothers movie Twitter account. There are no tweets on it. Some people were wondering if it's a fake account. It is Twitter verified, so for what that means, I don't know. For an account that has no tweets, I assume this means Nintendo went through Twitter to get it verified. All of Nintendo's accounts, by the way, are verified, so this does fall in line with the way Nintendo does things. It already has a ton of followers. I presume when the teaser trailer drops on October 6th at New York Comic Con next week, that that's probably the same day this this Twitter handle will actually do something. It'll get an update. It'll have the trailer on the Twitter account and stuff like that. So I'll put a link to it if you guys want to follow it. I'm following it. If it turns out to be a fake fan account, I'd be really surprised, but you know, crazier things have happened. And our last story is about a new Mario Kart. Wait, sorry, my bad, Smurf Kart. Yes, folks, we have another Mario Kart S clone, another kart racer out there called Smurf Kart coming out on November 15th. They dropped a new trailer today. And look, 
it's Mario Kart, but with Smurfs and only four players. Let's just be honest, okay? It's got boosting, it's got drifting, it's got alternate paths, it's got items. Multiplayer, online multiplayer, except only four players. As I said, it's very much a Mario Kart game with less players and the same old tricks. Now look, I think it actually looks pretty good, looks pretty solid, and like other kart racers out there, we have Nickelodeon Kart Racer, and, and dude, so many kart racers out there. It's just, I honestly am not sure that this is the one to get, and it's Smurfs. Look, I like the Smurfs, but you know, sometimes you wonder if the best studios are making a, you know, a adaption like this. I don't know, it looks good, the gameplay looks fine. So. It probably plays okay, and if there's anyone out there, maybe kids especially that are still into the Smurfs, maybe thanks to the Smurf movies, maybe they're really excited for this. Personally, the new Nickelodeon Kart Racer coming out, Kart Racer 3, is probably where I would invest my time, but hey, uh, you know what? All of us really just want a new Mario Kart, and that would solve all of our itches. Did I really just say a new Mario Kart game could solve all of our itches? Well, let me tell you, there are some itches a Mario Kart can't scratch. That being said, I am Nathaniel RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> where, where is this episode even going today? Welcome to Prime 5. I'll catch you at the next one. Did you really just make a dong joke and talk about Mario Kart not itching? Uh, just... Oh.